Uh-huh. Yo, if I had a hundred sheep and one of them got away, I would leave the 99 and go find that one. That's right. Look from the locks and jaws of Satan, I come create, penetrate with force from the land.
of mercy. And Lord, all you do is so powerful. Lord, we just thank you for your faith. Each and every day comes without anyone.
this time we have a selection that point.
everyone be please stand while we draw our congregational song. Please, Lord.
You bless this offering of heaven, Father, that we use the kingdom work yes. and bring me in close unto thy kingdom and unto Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. All these saints, we ask in Jesus' name, Heavenly Father. Yes. Father God, bless the giver, bless those that had to give and gave, yes. and bless those that desired to give but did not have to give. Yes. Yes. Heavenly Father, bless the Muhammad fold. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let's get it all in hand. Go ahead. Yes, at this time, we're going to get back to the program. Uh, this time, we're going to have our welcome by Brother Devante Carter. Good morning. 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 Six years, y'all give God praise for that. Thank you. Amen. 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 In this community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see something to give God praise. Amen. 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 Time to come out of peace by the inheritance. 
Praise him. Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It came to this especially thing. Yes. It's something that happened in the past as far as we can see. 156 years. Mm-hmm. Okay, around 18, six days. Members of Fires had permission to start a Negro mission. Uh-huh. That Negro mission eventually became Anglo Baptist Church. Yes. Mr. Ella Fires served two tours as pastor from 1868 to 1875. Then he was down. About 25 more ministers came on, kept just going forward. And we must hasten to say this this was the district they had to serve as a lot of, you can do a lot of reading. I do. And nineteen oh eight, Minister Johnson came, and he came, and during his administration, he built this building. So we talk about this building is over one hundred years old. And look at my face. It wouldn't be standing if it wasn't for the Lord. So during that administration, all of these things was accomplished. It was other ministers that came through, even my dad, but they ain't gonna be selfish. Okay. And then current. Yes, Currently, our pastors all the way from the city of Madison, Florida. None of us can help leave off here. Yeah. 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 So remember, there's more history. You need to go up and go down to the historical society and get all that history. I started, and I continue to grow. Thank you all for coming. To help us celebrate 156 years <laughs> serving our Lord. Thank you. Thank you.
Spirit can be coming out of the book of Numbers, Trinity chapter, the, the heritage chapter, starting at the 25th verse. Yes, that's the book of Numbers, 13th chapter. Yeah. The man, the man, and greed. And they turn and, and they return from searching the land for 40 days. And they went and came to Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation and the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Haran to Kadesh. Mm -hmm. And brought back word unto them and unto the congregation and stood them the fruit of the land. Mm -hmm. They told them and said, we, we came unto the land for the land sent us and surely it flowed with milk and honey mm -hmm. and it is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities, their wall, they are very great. Mm -hmm. And moreover, we saw the children of Anakia, and the Amalekite and the Amalekite dwell in the land of the south, of the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell in by the sea, mm -hmm. and the coast of Jordan. Mm -hmm. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it. And we are, are well able to overcome it. Mm -hmm. And the man went up and said to him, we are not able to go against the people because they are stronger than me. Mm -hmm. And they brought up the evil report of the land and they had searched unto the children of Israel saying, the land through which we have gone in search. It is the land that eats up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great sex. Mm -hmm. And there we saw the giants, and the, the sons of Akron, which came to the giants, and we were and we were in our own sight at Grasshopper, and they were in their sight. Mm -hmm. I read you from the book of Numbers, the 25th and the 33rd verse of Numbers. May God have it to the word and to the hearers. Amen. Amen. And at this time, we have another selection. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
deserve. Yes. How many of y'all know God is good? Yes. Amen. I say God deserves it. Yes. Amen. He deserves our honor yes. and our praise. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, he's so good to us yes. until we should be bashful. Uh, about praising him. Amen. Amen. Some folks in shame of Amen. But do you know that even the clothes you wear belong to him? Amen. They come with him. Amen. Amen. The food we eat, yeah. the water we drink, yes. the houses we live in. Yes. All of it comes from God. Yes. And so somebody that good to you, yes. you ought not to be ashamed to tell him, thank you. Yes. Yeah, there's something wrong with you anyway if a person is extremely good to you and you can't say thank you. Yes. Amen. 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 We are so grateful for our deacons and their helper, Ron Teddy. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, happy. Amen. For uh, all of you. Amen. Yes. yes. How about these urges standing on the Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. We are grateful to God for all of our visitors that probably not robbery. Amen. Yes. with us today. Yes. We want to express to you again our deep thanks yes. and to make you know that we feel yes. that we have been made the better because of you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Must not forget to say thank you to our audio minister, uh, Brother Deacon uh, Patterson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our video uh, help of today, uh, Sister Angela and little brother Robinson. Amen. 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 We're extremely happy. And for this uh, wonderful program, I'd like to first have the chairman to stand up, Brother Robinson. And all of us have the markings of Sister with his professional work style. And the brother, he's got a right hand in this, and that's supposed to answer us. Now it's a bad one. There's so many other of you that have cooperated with them to make this a reality. You did a good job.
not only those that's in the game, this part, but those that's, how about those that's in the kitchen? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. There's one lady back there, she is, she's not a member. What's her name, Kim? I really doubt that I lost it. Sister C. Clean. Sister Clean. Last night. Okay, Sister Clean. She's in the back. <laughs> one day, Sister Joy said she's in back there, and we see her from time to time. Amen. She's feeling, she saw a need, and she's feeling in the gap. Amen. Thank you, Sister Clean. There's another young man that we must not uh, uh, fail to make mention of, and all of us that here got interest in him. And his name is Brother Todd, I believe the last name Williams. Is it Williams? Brother Todd Williams is the reason why you ought to be so happy about him and clap for him because he's frying the chicken. <laughs> Amen. We have been thankful to the Lord long many years of service in the kitchen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Doing the job that so many people uh, may not want to do, but she's doing it. And we're thankful to God for her for so many years of uh, service. Amen. Amen. And all of you that have been doing good works and working for the expansion of God's kingdom, we say thank you. Amen. I'm also grateful this morning to have uh, my wonderful son here today, Tavares, and to be here. So I've got some extra lessons. Uh, my cousin now, she is here. Tavares, is here. something out there, but I'm going to brag about how to do the neck bone work. <laughs> well, I didn't get to tell the neck bone, but she did some fish one day and caught me. And I went and got her some fish, and that was good. She was a good cook. <laughs> but I especially thank you to have my wonderful mother. Will you start talking? Amen. <laughs> It is written. 
We are being killed all day long. We are regarded as sheep to the slaughter. And 37, knowing all things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. Repeat this after me. We are more than conquerors through him who loves us. You may be seated. Like to use for a subject more than conquerors. Yes. Let's say that together again, please. More than conquerors. One more time, church. More than conquerors. That don't mean that means that we're not only going to win, but more, we're going to go over and above. Amen. 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 We are more than conquerors. And how many of y'all know we can declare victory today? Yeah. Because the battle has already been fought yeah. and victory has already been won. Yeah. So we can, it, it doesn't matter what your problem is or your situation is, you can go ahead and declare victory through Christ Jesus. Yeah. And the reason why you can declare victory is because. Not only did he die, it was important that he died because his death was a payment for our sin. And by it, we attain the righteousness of God through what he did at Calvary. Not what we did, but what he did. And you know, when somebody do something for you that great, y'all tell them what? Thank you. But not only did he die for us, listen, if he had just died for us, if he had just died for us, and that was it, there would be no need of us meeting at the church this morning. But early that Sunday morning, he got up, and he declared what? Victory. All power was in my hand. So the battle has been fought, victory has been won. You can declare victory today. Yeah. Paul is writing this letter. He is in uh, the West and Corinth, where he's, he has done much preaching. And this is his third journey. And he has a keen desire to go farther east. Paul wants to get to the metropolis of Rome. But he realized that he got another challenge. He has collected money for the saints that are in Jerusalem that are having a hard time. And, uh, and they're being persecuted and the job being taken away from them. They're being put in prison. And many of them are going like it. Paul have uh, some money that he raised to help him out, and Paul wants to take that back to Jerusalem. Knowing that he won't get the chance to get to Rome now, he doesn't want to go to Rome, he wants to go all the way to Spain. But he sits down and he pins a letter to the church that's in Rome. And to try to understand that the church at Rome went through some change. Yes. How many of y'all know life come with change? Yes. Oh yeah, they have some, some good yes, and some bad. Yes. And when you're going through bad, sometimes look like bad even get worse, amen? Yes. Uh, the church in Rome, uh, Paul did not establish that he hadn't even been to Rome yet. But it's believed that it was born out of when uh, the day of Pentecost when people were all over the world at Jerusalem and the Holy Spirit failed. It's believed that some of them went back, just like they went back to Ethiopia yes. and carried the gospel and perhaps the church got started then. Yes. But nevertheless, the church started out with Jews. Jews that uh, were dispensed all over the world that had to come back home every year for the celebration. And for the good while, it was a predominant 
name Jutus. Then Claudius, the emperor of Rome, ordered the Jews out of Rome. Kicked them out. You know, like uh, Trump said, he's going to get rid of all of the Mexicans. Kick them out. But let me tell you something. You be careful when you kicking people out. First of all, God told you to be careful how you entertain strangers. You might be entertaining what? Angels. On the way. And then in the law that God gave Israel, he told them to be good to the strangers. Those that come to their country and to treat them uh, in a way of quality. But the emperor expelled them out, and that only left uh, the Gentiles that was in Rome. That left them in charge. And y'all know how it is when you never know how to leave a place and you leave it long enough, others take charge. Yes. Amen? Amen? So they was kicked out. And then another emperor, emperor come and he noticed that their economy was bottoming out. You kicked all of the Mexicans out the day if you want. They, they buy a lot of food, they buy a lot of clothes, they buy a lot of cars. Amen. You pull up to the red light and look up that big truck, you a somebody else in it. Amen. So when you do that, you undermine your economy. But this new emperor invited them to come back. He invited them to come back and they went back because they wanted to resume the businesses they had. You know, wherever the Jews go at, they are blessed people. And they excel. I don't care where you put them at, they excel because it's something about being blessed. Amen? It don't matter. Uh, and you know, they are some of the most hated people. I have one of them, we the most hated. But they are some of the most hated them and us. Some of the most hated people in the world. Jesus told them they'll be hated, isn't that? Yes. Uh, but wherever they go out for whatever reason, they excel in this. It's something about when God is on your side. It doesn't matter how many people is against you. It don't matter if it ain't nobody but you. If you put plus God, then you got overruling power. Amen. That's why the scripture say, if it gets two or three there, just do it in the name and I'll be what? In the midst. Amen. Uh, funny thing is, they asked you one time, or uh, had a little store, but it's doing so much business, and they're asking, how are you so successful in this big old mall, and these big stores on both sides of it? How are you so successful? And the you smile and say, well, I got this little spot ready between two big stores, and I just put a big sign out there that says, infantile. <laughs> But it doesn't matter your situation. And all of us in here got some kind of situation. Amen? Amen. But if you got God on your side, Amen. then God is able to bless you irregardless of what's going on around you. Amen. But when the Jews come back, they come back now as most of the predominant Gentile church. And they come up a problem because you did it with uh, Jews that was attached to the law. Uh -huh. And the Jews said, in order for you to stay, you got to keep the laws of Moses. Have your boys been circumcised? Have you went to purification? Have you did this? Have you did that? 
And now there's a division there, so Paul tried to write a letter. Amen. To let them know that our victory is not because of laws that we keep, but it's because of the work that Jesus did on the cross. Now, the church itself had opposition. They had opposition over uh, the issue of Christ. And they had enemies because of Christ. And Paul wanted them to know that if God be for us, then who can be against us? Paul said, it doesn't matter what uh, they got against you or who all is circled around you. If you got God on your side, you are already a winner. Young people think about it, they've got some money. Uh, I got the their house on the block. But how many of y'all know there come a time when money cannot help you? There come a time when your car can't help you. They ain't about to call you people long enough. You'll call them on a Monday. They won't break up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. One guy in the red light had a brand new car. And the transmission went out. Mm. Let me tell you something. You need Jesus. <laughs> if you got Jesus, you got everything. So good to see our civil rights worker back there, Brother Ryan. Amen. 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 And we want to give a lot of undiluted news. Thank you. But if you got God on your side, you got everything that you need. Ain't it all all right? Amen. Not only that, but Paul wanted them to know that uh, keep the faith. Somebody say, keep the faith. Keep the faith. See, when you keep the faith, that means that you are focused not on your problem, but you're focused on him. How many of y'all know he is the solution? He is the answer to all your problems. That's why everybody, don't care how old you are, how young you are, you need a praying lot. Yes, you need a prayer uh -huh. because prayer is one of the greatest tools a child of God got. Yes, sir. Prayer gets you in connection with God. Oh, yes. And how many of y'all know that all power? Uh -huh. I say not some power, but all power oh, is in God's hand. Oh, yes. It don't matter how many enemies you got. And all of us got some enemies, and if you don't have no enemies, you need to check yourself. All right. Ain't God all right? Yes. Even Jesus had some enemies. Right. But I heard Paul say, uh, I want you to know that uh, I'm in God's hand, that you are in his hand. And I heard Paul say, not even angels are rude. Things present are things to come. Ain't God all right? Yes. Amen. Not even uh, powers of height of death right. can separate us from the love of God. Yes. It don't matter how bad your problem may be. Yes. Your problem might be in your finances. Yes. But I'm glad yes. that he got all the silver yes. and all the gold. Yes. Belong to him. Ain't God all right? That's why I love being his child. I might be a poor boy myself, but my daddy is rich. Ain't God all right? And I'm glad I got a connection with him. All I got to do is call him. And you know, when you call him, you got to call him like you need. God will come. I say, He'll come. And God knows He'll answer prayer. I'm glad 
Did you got kids all around? Yeah. The same God yeah. will put your enemies yeah. in their place. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. I heard it. Yeah. Say we are not the conquerors, yeah. but we're more than conquerors. Yeah. I thought about the, yeah, the children of Israel, yeah, when they were out in the wilderness and yeah, come to the brink of the Jordan River. Yeah. It's all right. They were so close. Yeah. They could see the promised land. Yeah. And I heard Moses say, yeah, I'm going to send some spies yeah, to spy out the land. Yeah. Because he's checking your faith. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. You see, you can't have no relationship with God yeah. except you have faith. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Without faith, yeah. it is impossible yeah. to get anything from God. Yeah. Without faith, yeah. it's impossible yeah. to get God to move for you. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. 
You was born like all men were born in a natural body, which is born in sin. And so in order to get in, God came and Jesus said, you must be, you've got to be born again. Amen. This is the reason why you're here. Now, my message to you is the message about the Christ, Jesus. He's the one, he's the son of the living God. He, he, he come not as just a man, but he come as the God man. He's the son of the living God. He come from his father to the earth. And he suffered and he died. You weren't there to see it and witness it, so you would have to make up in your mind whether you believe it and you'll have to be able to confess. But not only did he die, but that Sunday morning he rose again. Do you believe that Jesus is God's son? Yes. Amen. Do you believe God, Jesus is God's son? Do you believe that he died and rose on, on the first morning? Yes, sir. Do you believe he died and rose again? Yes, sir. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. Y'all remember what the unit said that after he had to leave, he, as he said, what hell is need from being baptized? Well, what hell is them today? We don't have the water here. <laughs> okay, so we'll set those things up a lot of time, okay? Now, amen, I know y'all are urgent, but you got to come off your duty now. And uh, I want y'all to sit here. Y'all just stay on the front between mama and grandma here. Come on over here. And so don't go over here. Amen. So come on over here. Come on over here. There you go. I see that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now give the Lord a big, big hand. That's the greatest, best thing happened in all of our anniversary. This stuff I'll be forever mindful of. And on, on your program, that might want to put a note on, on that. Amen? Amen? Because that's that's wonderful. Amen. Greatest thing. You have money, cars, houses, nothing is greater than your soul. Right. Your soul is the one that's going to live forever. Your body, your body is temporary. You can dress it up, fix it up, but it's going to leave you one day. Yes. But you go home. You go on to either a place of peace or a place of damnation. You live on, okay? All right, so when, what happened with them today, their name is now written in the book of life. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, we got a few other things. That you Praise the Lord, isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Uh, this is the time for the remarks and, and the presentation. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out and joining and making this success. Uh, I asked for the co chairman to come up, if she will. The first thing that I want to do is acknowledge people that worked so hard to make this a success. And I want to thank each and every one of you for working the way that you did to make this work out. Uh, I want to ask that Kim, Ms. Ms. Kim doesn't come down for one minute, please. Mom's good. And she made a trip down to Tifton, back to Bowl. And, and Something that we we wasn't doing, but she took it upon herself to go to church yes. at least three times. Thank and you know, uh, uh, Sister Kim, I just want to say thank you and Mr. Robinson for the time, the effort that you have put in this program. And I enjoy the time you work with you. You're a great team worker. So we have a little token to give to you. But we know God's going to give you rest, so this is just a little token from us. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, okay. <laughs> 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 
come up, please? Thank <laughs> you. 
Missionary Baptist Church, 156th Anniversary Day. And I encourage all citizens of the city of Valdosta to join, to join in as we recognize First Antioch Mission Baptist Church as they celebrate our milestone, their strength of endurance, their faith in God as they move forward into the future. So proclaim this 19th day of May, 2024.
So he's he been jogging all the way down to Antioch working. First Antioch working. This flag is from First Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, 156 Church Anniversary. Presented to Deacon Harry L. Jenkins, Sunday, May 19, 2024, in recognition of your dedicated servant, William Spirit and Labor of Love. You are an inspiration and an incredible blessing to us. Hebrews 6 and 10. Presented by Pastor Albert Barfield on behalf of First Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. Well, I'm going to thank you all. You all know I don't like this crap. I really don't like to be recognized. But anyway, thank you all in a way because what I do is do it from the heart. And thank God for giving me the opportunity to do it. So thank you all again. Hey, man, uh, afterwards, since we all got a red Toyota, please get up with Reverend uh, Robinson. If you want a red Toyota, please get up with Reverend Robinson before you leave, okay? Reverend Robinson. We need to get up with him, please. You got a red Toyota. Okay, now, uh, I think all of our business is exhausted. And let's one more time give the man that's cooking the chicken a big, big hand.